Welcome to my fifth and final video in my series of five tips for air combat pilots. This video's tip is quite simple and it is relax, otherwise known as let go of the control column. There are three reasons why I often fly with my hands off the control column. The first reason is that it actually allows you to check whether you're in trim or not. Um, particularly in the RAF fighters where you have rudder and elevated trim. But here in the 109 it's uh, true for the elevator. So I'm flying along here and I've got the nose trimmed up slightly and I've just got my hand pushing slightly forward on the joystick. And I'm not really putting much forward pressure on the joystick, just a tiny bit, so it's not really uncomfortable at the moment. If I take my hands off the joystick now, you'll notice that the aircraft's actually considerably out of trim. And as soon as I relax that forward pressure, the nose is gonna fly out. So, one way to check whether you're in trim or not is actually to take your hands off the stick. So I take my hands off the stick, and then I see the nose is rising. So now I apply about five or 10 nose down clicks with the elevated trim. And now it's still climbing very slightly. So I'm gonna go maybe two or three clicks down. And there we go. I'm now flying with my hands off the control column and I can relax. Now the second reason I also take my hands off the control column is because Every time you place input into the aircraft, every time you move one of these control surfaces, you're basically putting the control surface in front of the airflow, either across the wing or across the tail section. Every time you move something, you are slowing yourself down by adding a fraction of drag to the aircraft. So the least amount of control surface movements you can make faster you will fly. And there's a third reason why I take my hands off the control column and often I am um, especially in the RAF fighters where I can use the rudder trim to trim the rudders out as well. Often I'll take my feet off the rudder pedal so I'll fly along, hands off the stick, hands off the control column and feet off the rudder just sitting back in my chair and looking around. The reason I do this because of fatigue. After half an hour of flying around, constantly making little control adjustments, I've got my left hand on a control column, I've got my feet resting on rudder pedals, I've got my right hand on a control column um, in front of me between my knees. 20 or 30 minutes of doing that, you just get fatigued. And with fatigue, you're gonna just perform slightly worse than you would if you're nice and relaxed. You can also fly um, with just two fingers on the control column, so sometimes I will do that too, especially if you're flying in the hurricane and you've got that constant right wing roll, so the, the right wing is doing that the whole time. Instead of grabbing the whole control column with your hand, just place the forefinger or two fingers on the control column, and just occasionally just press it right near the top so you've got lots of leverage and keep yourself relaxed. So there you go, this isn't really much of a strategic or sort of tactical tip. Um, it's really a physiological one in many respects with a little bit of tactical advantage thrown in. So remember that when you're up there guys, never relax your lookout. That is absolutely critical. Constantly twist the head around. Relax your hands and your feet on the aircraft controls. So that concludes my five combat tips. Obviously, well, hopefully people realize that doing this isn't gonna make you um, a great combat pilot. And um, I don't consider myself an absolute master at this either. There are 
shitloads of guys who are much better than me at this game. So watch their YouTube videos, ask them questions, and um, yeah, just keep working at it. And I guess my overall number one tip for anyone who flies air combat in these warbirds kind of period is lookout. Keep that lookout going. If you stop looking, you will die.